What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of From Suicide to Success, 10 lessons that I learned from the brink of despair. In this video, I'm gonna go over the importance of allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Welcome back guys and girls. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifications to be updated on any of my new videos. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over the importance of allowing yourself to feel vulnerable. This is something that I really struggled with for a long time. In my childhood years, my teenage years, I couldn't be vulnerable around anyone. I was always put down, I was always ridiculed, criticized, made to feel like crap a lot of the time in a lot of the children's homes that I lived in. So I built up a mental barrier and built up a lot of walls to keep people out. And it's something that I still struggle with a little bit today, to be honest. The first time I told my story, it was absolutely terrifying. The first time I told it was at the Rimini Italy event last October, and it was a transformational experience. I mean, I had allowed myself to be vulnerable around some other people before that, but nothing on that scale. And it was a really transformational experience. I was actually almost in tears at the end of it. I felt like my heart was gonna explode and it was really touching and life-changing the way that everyone reacted to my story and reacted to me being vulnerable. And um, because of past experiences, especially childhood experiences, I mean, children can be cruel. We tend to put up walls and we tend to keep block everyone out. I've learned over the last couple of years that there's a lot more nice people in the world than there is horrible people and to kind of let people in a little bit more. So allowing yourself to be vulnerable, sharing a bit about your story and connecting with people is so important for growth and just basically connecting with people. For so many years, I blocked people out. I didn't show any emotion. The only emotions that I showed for quite a few years were anger and sadness. Um, they were, that was about it. I didn't allow myself to share any happiness with anyone. I didn't allow myself to show any emotion because when I showed emotion in the past, people would use it against me. And it took me a long time to break, break out of that and break away from that. But the community that I'm involved with now showed me that there's a lot more nice people uh, in the world than horrible and luckily i'm lucky enough to be around a lot of very supportive nice caring honest genuine people so yeah i just wanted to share that with you today the importance of allowing yourself to be vulnerable and how important it is for making connections so i hope you found this video useful if you did please hit that like button hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be updated on any of my new videos thanks for watching and i'll see you next time